This is another episode in the series within a series that I like to call, Chris made this a JS quick hit so he could learn it himself. I've never really needed to use function.call or function.apply, or perhaps more accurately, since I didn't know how, I've always found other ways to do what I wanted to do. So I never learned. Those days are now over, and I hope you'll join me in this new knowledge. The first thing to mention is that these two methods are basically identical, except in how they handle parameters. They both exist on the function prototype. We discussed prototypes in JS Quick Hits 22 and JS Quick Hits 23, which means they're available to all non-arrow functions. I'll explain why in a bit, but first let's worry about what works and not what breaks. The second thing to know is that both methods allow you to change what this represents within the function. The first question you're probably asking is, why would I want to be able to dynamically change what this represents in a function? That's a good question. The answer is because it makes doing some stuff easier. One really excellent example is chaining constructors. We talked about those in the same two tutorials I already mentioned. Let's say we've got a frog. All frogs are amphibians, but not all amphibians are frogs. For example, salamanders and Sicilians. We can make a generic amphibian constructor like this. And then we can create a frog constructor that calls the amphibian constructor, passing its own this value and allowing you to access additional data. Here's how we use those constructors. If we go ahead and save that, refresh, our output looks like this. We get everything from the amphibian constructor using one line of code, and then add our specific frog data to it from there. Obviously, if we're just handling frogs, uh, so to speak, we wouldn't really need to do this. But if we needed constructors for each type of amphibian, and especially if we needed them for each type of frog, you could see how this chaining would save a lot of lines of code. Especially if we hardwired the kingdom, phylum, and class values in the amphibian constructor, like we did with has legs in the frog constructor, instead of taking them as parameters. I just did that to show you that well, you could do that. Let's talk quickly about the difference between call and apply. I mentioned before that it's all about how they handle arguments. And indeed, call takes arguments one after the other, as we already showed. And apply takes them as a single array, like this. Save that, refresh, and we've got our salamander. So that's the whole deal. To my knowledge, there's no particular advantage to one or the other, either in terms of speed or in terms of readability. I suppose if you wanted to define your arguments as an array elsewhere and then use them wherever, apply might be slightly better for that. Although you could just use the spread operator with call like this. Anyway, use what you like. It's entirely up to you. But there are two gotchas you should be aware of. First, if you're not in strict mode and you don't pass a this argument, it's going to substitute the global object, which means you can access variables set with var, like this. We did get rid of this pseudocode. Save that. As you can see, we're not passing a this to the dot call method but we get the string because we used var and it's on the global object and that's what call assigns to this if we don't tell it what to assign to this. Second, as mentioned earlier, this stuff doesn't work with arrow functions. They don't have a prototype and you can't inherit methods from a prototype you don't have, so no dice. If you want to use call or apply, you'll have to use regular function declarations. Observe. Yes, yes, I'm old. Save this, refresh. As you can see, the first one worked, saying the name properly, but the second one did not say the age properly because it is an arrow function. All right, let's finish up laughing at our elders and wrap things up. Next week, I'm going to give you a few more examples of how you can use call and apply. Then that'll be it for this topic. I might tackle strict mode after that and explain what it's all about. Any interest? Just reply and let me know. See you next week. 